The great thing about hands is you can always count on them. But have you ever thought about how the design of your hands has impacted the numbers we use every day? It's no coincidence that the word digit refers to fingers and thumbs and to the numbers we use. This is why we have a decimal or base 10 numbering system. If we want to count higher than our hands will allow, it helps to start grouping things into tens. Our number system works in a very similar way. It's so common that in our language we have given names to the multiples of 10, like 20, 30, 40, and so on. We also have names for factors of 10, like 100, and 1000, million, billion, and so on. If we had evolved with 12 fingers, things would be very different. When counting eggs, we traditionally counted in 12s or dozens. Half a dozen, a dozen, two dozen. Base 12 will never catch on, but it illustrates that base 10 is not the only way. In theory, we could use any base we like for our numbering system, but for humans, base 10 is pretty much the standard. Digital computers, despite the name, don't have fingers. In this case, digital refers to the way data is expressed in ones or zeros. Memory cells within a computer can only be in one of two states, off, represented by zero, or on, represented by a one. In binary, we group things in twos, then fours, eights, sixteens, and so on. It's a factor of two each time, instead of ten in base ten. Binary is not commonly used by humans, and so there are no special names to help us understand them. For example, 15 is highly recognisable in decimal, but in binary it's simply 1, 1, 1, 1. So to make things a bit easier for humans, there is another numbering system to bridge the gap, which uses base 16. It's more commonly referred to as hexadecimal, or just hex for short. Hexadecimal requires 16 states, so we need to introduce some new names for the units. We can use 0 to 9 for the first 10, then the first 6 letters of the alphabet for the rest. With a bit of practice, it becomes easy to translate between these number systems. Computers tend to deal with numbers in sets of 8 binary digits, or bits. 8 bits is called a byte. A hexadecimal digit can cover just 4 bits, so we need 2 of these digits to represent a byte. Here are some examples. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the introduction to binary and hex. Please subscribe to catch new videos and feel free to let me know topics you would like covered through the comments area.